Since 1986, the CASA program has been dedicated to training and supporting volunteers who advocate for foster children in court. Joining me now with more information on their fire and ice gala is Kehala Tubles. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I am so excited to hear about this event that you guys have coming up, but let's get a little information on what CASA is first. Absolutely, thanks for having me. So as you said, CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocate, and we have a special group of volunteer advocates who really show up for kids who are going through the foster care system and make sure that they're heard, their needs are taken care of, and hopefully at the end we see them reunited with their families. Amazing, so this is a volunteer run organization and you guys have your Fire and Ice Gala coming up um, pretty soon, let's hear about that event. So Fire and Ice is a special fundraising gala. We have had it online for the last few years and this is our first year back in person. Mm -hmm. It will be on September 14th from four to 6 p.m. at the Doll Fine Arts Center. And it's gonna be a special night of, you know, drinks, auction, music, photos, all kinds of things. And it's a, just a way to show up and really support our program, support our year long mission, I think we've seen a real increase of kids in care, but a decrease of funding from larger grants. So we really are asking the whole community to come out and support our program. You can get tickets at casaofrapidcity.org. Okay, and it's gonna be on our website, of course, too. Now, why bring awareness to these kind of issues? Why do you think the community kind of needs to support uh, CASA? I mean, these are kids in our community, right? They're our future, they matter, they're important, and we wanna show up and make sure that they know they're cared about. We wanna make sure that they know that their whole future is promising to everybody in the community. That's right, so you said it's at the Doll Art Center, September 16th, um, how? 14th. 14th, my bad, my bad, September 14th. Now, if someone wants to get involved in CASA, but they can't necessarily make it to the gala, how can they do that? All the questions you have, you go to the same place. You go to our website, casaofrapidcity.org. You can read about our fundraiser. You can donate to our cause. You can fill out an application and become a volunteer. All of it's right there. And the volunteering, kind of what, was, what would that look like for like someone maybe with a busy schedule and they want to add it in? Is it kind of easy to do that? It's very scalable. We have an initial training because of the program we are. We have background checks and things like that. Um, but once people are trained and sworn in, our advocates tell us it takes them one to three hours a week to fulfill all of their advocacy duties. Wow, so it's not very much and it, is, it has a big impact on kids in the community. Um, now remind us one more time, Doll Art Center, September 14th, and what time is it at again? Four to six, so it's a cocktail, appetizer kind of event, and then you can go out with your friends for a night on the town. All right, I love it. And can you get tickets at the door or should you do it in advance? We're asking that people get tickets in advance and we really are looking for that core support to, to make sure that we know we have the funds to continue as an agency. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm sure that's going to be a great event for the kids in the community. After the break, we join Mimi Herrick live right at the Doll Arts Center. Don't go anywhere.